I went to Glasgow University and did my law degree at Glasgow and my diploma as well. I also did a part-time doctorate at Glasgow. As soon as I decided I wanted to study law, I decided that going to the bar was what I wanted to do, that I would like to be an advocate. Um, so as soon as I finished my diploma, I started a bar traineeship in Edinburgh, which was a, a one-year traineeship in the litigation department, very much targeted, focused on someone who was going to go to the bar. And at the end of that, then I started the training for the Faculty of Advocates. So I called to the Scottish Bar in 2001 and I took silk in 2015. It is obvious that there are potential barriers, that there are challenges, but I think I've always just tried to do what I wanted to do and tried to work hard to achieve what I wanted to achieve. You get stray remarks, things like that, which you just ignore or you call them out politely. Um, but I've, I've never felt somebody saying, you can't do this because you're a woman. Even though something isn't overt, it doesn't mean that there aren't wider pressures going on whereby perhaps certain type of work is not perhaps um, being given to women. Sometimes people, it's totally unconscious. I think actually people don't even realise themselves how they're being diverted down certain paths or how they are diverting people potentially down certain paths or making assumptions about who would be good at doing a particular type of work within the profession. My feel always is that the goal we should be looking for here, and this is not just gender, it's, it's everything really, is to take people as an individual um, and to allow them to do what they want to do and to not make assumptions about because someone's a woman that they will not be able to do something or you know because someone comes from a particular background that they won't be interested in something. It frustrates me so much when people make assumptions about what people can do, what they want to do and what they don't want to do because everyone should have the freedom to say this is what interests me, this is what I want to do, this is the goal that I have, the aim that I have, and we should accept that and try and facilitate people reaching that. I think the advice I would give to people is just to, is a number of things really. One of them is about not being afraid to set your goals and follow your goals. Of course you must listen to advice and thoughts from people and, and I think that, I mean, that is part of the advice. There's so many interesting jobs you can do in the legal profession and to try and find out as much as you can about each of these, whether it's speaking to people that do it, whether it's watching people do it and think about the kind of skills that these, the type of knowledge that these jobs require. I think role modelling is very important um, because it does give you that feel that that you can do, looking at colleagues, people who have gone to the bar, for example. I remember as a student sitting beside someone, it was after a, a moot, we had a mooting dinner, and one of the advocates who had helped with judging was talking about cases they'd been involved in. And that was really inspiring to me because she was describing cases that I knew were really legally significant, and she'd played a part in that, and played a part, therefore, in shaping the law. That's inspiring. I think the way in which she worked she used her intelligence and her hard work, her knowledge of the law, her ability to advocate, to be articulate in court. She used all of that to make a difference for those individuals, but to make a broader difference for society. And that is very inspirational, I think.